Hey guys, it's Mr. Bison here. I'm coming to you from a very gloomy day in Manchester, back in the car in the pouring rain, and I just wanted to let you know how I thought Paper One went, and I'd love to hear how you think that Paper One went as well in the comments. Now, I would say I think this was a pretty decent paper. I think that loads of the questions were very accessible. There were lots of different parts to the questions, lots of show that. And I would say pretty much up to like question 10, it was pretty straightforward of the things that you needed to do. I mean, there was like factor theorem to begin with. There was a really easy, easy binomial kind of question. Even sort of the trigonometry modeling with the rabbits and foxes, I didn't think was that hard. I think it was quite easy to prepare for that kind of stuff. But there was a healthy level of challenge towards the end of the paper. I'm thinking of that one where you had to find the area of like the sector, sort of circle-y kind of thing with the semicircle. And of course, the question I was hearing a lot about was the integration by substitution. And that felt quite further mathsy in some ways. And it was interesting with the fact that the limit was also a part of the substitution. I've actually never seen a question like that before, which I was yeah kind of intrigued by. But they did have something for you to show that it was equal to something else, which hopefully meant that people could continue with part B to get some of those integration parts as well. Now, how do other people think this has gone? There's actually a link in the description and there's a poll that I always run after every exam paper. And so far with the number of votes that we've got, about a third of people have ranked this paper as like a three out of five, so pretty good. And then about 50% of people have given it a four or a five, meaning, yeah, pretty very good or excellent, which I think is a reflection on people saying this was a decent paper, which reminds me of the same kind of reaction that I saw last year in 2023 when people came out of the exam, which then leads me on to the next part, which is to think about grade boundaries. Now, it's difficult to say when we've only had one paper. I'll be able to have a better picture after paper two and paper three. But I would probably say we're looking around the same boundaries as 2023 because the level of accessibility and challenge towards the end of the paper for me feels quite similar to that kind of thing. Now, I'm going to put a full list of what I'm predicting that will be coming up in the second paper, but I'll quickly run through some of those things. Sorry, I'll put a full list of that in the description because um, I know I'll probably forget something and I want to add it in. But I'm just going to quickly run through the things that haven't yet come up that I think could be coming up. And these are all the things I'm going to be preparing for for the Saturday session that I'm running on Zoom. If you're interested in that, there's a link in the description for the tickets, which I'll tell you more about in just a second. So predicted things that I think should be coming up in paper two. We've not had a ton of modeling, so I would expect to see more modeling which could either be quadratic, linear, maybe exponentials and logarithms. They love exponentials and logarithms for modeling so I really think that that should be there. We haven't had any graph transformations. We haven't had anything on circles but that doesn't always come up. We have had proof but that usually comes up both years. We've had a little bit on trigonometry, but not really, not the proper stuff, which is the stuff with like the addition formula, the double angle formula. Obviously we've had the R cos kind of stuff so far, so I wouldn't be anticipating to see that kind of stuff. We've not had any vectors, so that is guaranteed vectors will be coming up in paper two. Well, as far as I'm concerned, it's guaranteed. And we've had some integration, but I think that there should be some more, maybe limit of a sum, you know, the one with the sigma that goes with it. And we have some differentiation, but I think there's probably going to be more, maybe like implicit differentiation, connected rates of change. Or perhaps we're going to have parametric, which will tick off a bit more integration and a bit more differentiation as well there. I mentioned exponentials and logarithms with modeling. I think there'll probably be a log equation that seems to come up all the time. And then I would expect there to be another sequences and series question. We've had geometric so far, so either the sigma notation or maybe the arithmetic kind of one as well. And um, they usually have two each series, sometimes three. Partial fractions, that would probably be like a part A or kind of B that leads to something else. Worth checking over the small angle approximations too. And the trapezium rule could still be coming up, maybe blended with an integration question. And I don't think there'll be an iteration for numerical methods because we already had newton raphson And yeah, I just want to reiterate the fact I think parametric will be coming up and that's definitely something I'm going to be covering in this Saturday session. So if you are interested in this and you've ever been to a live stream, they're way better than the live stream because they're much more interactive. I can talk way quicker in the Zoom chat and respond to everyone's things. And it's only £15, £15 for a two hour session with me going over all the topics that I think should be coming up and finding questions that are mostly unseen. I'm going to try and find questions from locations that you probably don't usually use so that they feel fresh and have you feeling prepared for that next exam which I think is on Tuesday next week. Now this this probably is going to sell out. The further maths one was hugely popular. Um, not only to get that two hour session with me but you get a one hour video of me going through the extra questions that I'll be setting you. But you can also buy the recording if you can't make the session or if it sells out and I hope that'll be something that you guys might be interested in. 
I also just wanted to say a big thank you. This year has been the most amazing year of doing loads more stuff on YouTube. I hit 50k subscribers. I'm obviously aiming for 100k next. So if you've ever watched any of my videos or you watch this and you want to know a bit more about my reactions to the next papers, please do just subscribe to the channel. It will just help me reach that next goal, which I'm really interested in, in achieving as soon as I possibly can do. So whether I see you on Saturday or in another video soon, I just want to wish you the best of luck for the next paper and I hope to see you soon. Bye guys.